Well, hello everyone. As you can see, this is a message I sent to Steam. Showing them actual proof that the bots are still a problem, if not more of a problem they've ever been. In my message, I sent Team Fortress 2 is not safe. It is not fair. There's nothing but bots. And if you don't believe me, in two days, seven maps, seven games full of bots, from chat bots to name stealing bots to aim bots. TF2 casual games are dead, and you have become an enabler of bots in your games. You have sent, if you send me an excuse like the last update fixed the bots, you are not only lying to me, but yourself. Game one of all of these are bots in Team Fortress 2. The files I have attached are two games full, two games of seven that were full of bots. Ask yourself right now, is this safe? Is this fun for all your real players to suffer? Your players are suffering due to your carelessness and heartless ways. These are the files I sent to them. They respond, we recently released updates for Team Fortress 2. This is what I told them not to send me to help address some of these issues. You can find out more here. We've updated communication controls for players, improved the feature to report files, engaging inappropriate behavior, as well as taking action to limit some availability accessibilities onto these accounts. We appreciate in matchmaking and voice chat communication. We continue to adjust these features over time to avoid affecting normal users. Okay. No, they did not fix this. They sent the same excuse again to me. And I'm betting they sent the same excuse to hundreds, if not thousands, maybe even millions of players that play Team Fortress 2. In every way, since or form, they've come out with the same excuse time and time again. And they think it is okay just to put a patch on a grievous wound. And I'm not talking about a normal wound like you've been stabbed. No, this is a wound that you've been hit by a literal shrapnel bomb. That you have shrapnel in your body and they go, okay, we're going to put a patch on it. You're fine. You're going to live. It's okay. This is the equivalent of that steam. This is not okay. You putting a patch on a wound that is going to end up taking that person's life is not okay. That does not fix the problem. It does not work. This is not okay. I am already in a bad enough mood as is because my heater has broke. My heater slash air conditioner is broke. But now Steam comes up with the same excuse again. The same lie again. I cannot take this from Steam any more. Their lies, their excuses, this is not how you run a game. This is not how you handle a development and take care of a game. This is how you make people suffer.
and then die. This is what Steam is doing to Team Fortress 2. Not only to that game, but to Dota 2. And also, any other first person shooter that Steam has developed is going through this. Not just first person shooters, but multiplayer shooters are going through this same problem, and Steam is not doing anything about it. Now I'm going to upload this video to my YouTube channel and send them the link. This is not the first time they have done this to me. This is not the first time they've done this to anyone. I want them to realize, I want y'all all to realize, Steam does not care anymore. They do not want to fix the problem. They do not care. They want to milk our wallets, our cash, and not fix the problem. They do not want to handle it anymore. And I do not want to deal with this anymore. Casual is no longer safe and let alone competitive. Valve does not care at all. Valve has officially become Microsoft. I am done, Valve. I am done.